All right, so in this case, um, now what they're asking us to do is now we want to find the tangent of 2u. So first of all, we want to make sure we can determine. Now, we already see tangent, right? So we already actually see the tangent of u. So to evaluate for tangent u, we don't really need to care about the triangle. However, if we were going to create, you know, do the sine and the cosine, we would want to make sure we know our triangle is going to be within our constraint between 0 and pi halves. So therefore, it's going to be in the first quadrant. And we'd already have 3 over 4 um, opposite over adjacent. And then we know that would be a um, positive 5, just in case for, for your guys' own benefit. Because if I ask you to do cosine of 2u and sine of 2u. But for the tangent of 2u, we have a different formula. So on page 387, as I mentioned, what you guys are going to want to do for the tangent of 2u is 2 tangent of u over 1 minus tangent squared of u. Okay, So now we already know tangent of u, right? They already gave it to us. So we don't need to figure out anything with the triangle. Now we just need to plug everything in. Well, tan tangent of u is 3 over 4. So we have 2 times 3 over 4 divided by 1 minus 3 over 4 squared. Right? So I can simplify this is as to 6 over 4 <coughs> over 1 minus 9 over 16. Yes, right? Now, I want to combine these, OK? So to combine these, 1 minus 9 over 16, guys, you know 1 is you got to have common denominators. So you multiply by 16 over 16 on the left side. So you have 16 over 16 minus 9 over 16, which is now going to give us 7 over 16, right? So now I'm just going to start doing my work to the right. So now I have 6 over 4 divided by 7 over 16. Hey, what are you multiplying 16 by the 1? Yeah. I multiply 16 over 16. Well, can we keep your knees on your desk, please? Thank you. By, by 9 over 16 and by 1. No, just over 1. And then now you can subtract them. 16 minus uh, 9 is 7. Yes? No. Not done yet. So now what we need to do is multiply. How do we divide a fraction by another fraction? Multiply by the reciprocal. All right? I'll use pink again. So now I'll multiply by 16 over 7. 16 over 7. Well, guys, you know that 4 can divide into 16. Well, no, this goes to 1, right? That simplifies to 4. 6 times 4 equals 24 over 7. And that's your final answer. Okay? It's just some algebra practice, guys. It's really knowing, the, it's really knowing your, your triangle, finding the constraint, knowing the formula, which you will have, but then just doing algebra. I mean, that's really all it is. Okay? However, this is one that gets a lot of students, which I'm